A couple of years ago, I had a student, we had a student, and towards the end of the program, she came to me with tears in her eyes and said she had been on welfare and using the government to survive. And now, because she had been through this program, she was able to stand on her own two feet and get a job. And she was actually moving back to Alabama to be with her mother, and she could do that and find job placement there to help someone to stand on their own two feet. That, that's what we're about. I'm Diana Warden. I'm the clinical coordinator and instructor at Franklin Technology at Missouri Southern Campus. The clinical coordinator position started this year, and what that entails is I call the doctor's offices and set up a schedule for our students to go in. They need 80 hours of clinical rotation time in this program. And so one student goes in one day and it's basically observing the doctor, the assistant, maybe a hygienist, someone up front. After their 80 hours, I call to set up an externship, which is 160 hours. In that position with the students, they go in and actually assist the doctor. They sit down and they use the suction in the air water syringe. They will help with an extraction. They help with a crown prep. And they're actually assisting um, like a job. It's a non-paid position because they're still the student. But um, they get to work with the doctor in that respect. Our textbook has 64 chapters that we pretty much fly through. It's anything from the history of dentistry, which, and you wouldn't think that Paul Revere, who did the midnight ride to warn the, that the British were coming, um, he was the first person to identify forensic dentistry. We also had Leonardo da Vinci, a great painter who painted the Mona Lisa. He was one that distinguished molars and premolars. The Egyptians and the Chinese, you know, they worked with gold. They did um, things like a bridge that we use today called a Maryland splint, where they would remove, if the tooth came out from periodontal disease, they could attach a gold piece to it. Uh, they used a lot of gold back then and actually insert that into the mouth. So we talk about this in class. We have laws and ethics, infection control. They learn anatomy, physiology, embryology, tooth morphology, uh, waste and chemical management. You know, what do you do with that tooth when it's extracted? Where do you, you just toss it over your shoulder? Of course not. And so they learn all about this. There's also specialties that we teach, um, dental implants, endodontics, which would be root canals, orthodontics, braces. I love dentistry. I've been in dentistry for, I like to say over 25 years. I love the instructional part of it because I'm able to pass on a lot of my experiences, which I've had a day or two of, to the students. And I tell them stories in the classroom um, that you're gonna make mistakes and that they can expect that. And that's part of the learning process. But dentistry has just been very rewarding. 